everyone and welcome to another episode of the Pocket Vlog. First off, I would like to apologize for not posting recently. Oh, it's just been so hard. A lot of hard work, a lot of late nights, sleeping late at night. Oh, it's just been so hectic. <laughs> Anyway, there's been so much drama in my life recently. I don't even know where to start. First, our dog got sick, and then my university registration got declined, and then, then I became a victim of a crime scene. I came face to face to a criminal. I was deceived right before my eyes. My phone got stolen. Ugh, let me tell you what happened. So I was at university. I just finished speaking to this professor that was supposed to pay my registration fee to allow me to become part of the university that was starting that day. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, miss. I would please like my damn money because I can't register. And she's like, uh, yes, sir. We are currently busy processing your request. So if you would join a wow, 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 wow. And I'm like, please, I need the money now. University starts today. And she's like, listen here, bitch. We can't do shit for y'all today. So take your fat ass and move to the next queue because I can't help you, bitch. Okay, maybe she didn't say it like that. She was actually quite nice. Anyway, she gave me this form and I went to the nearest restaurant to go sit at a table and started filling it in. And then, <sighs> was about to go down. I sat there for a couple of minutes when this young man approached me and he seemed very innocent and like a good person. And he said, Hey, uh, sorry to bother you. I was wondering, may quickly borrow phone to make phone call to friend? And I said, F*** off. Oh. Ah, how I only wish I said that. But instead, being the kind, altruistic and well-mannered person that I am, I said, Sure, why not, young chap? Use my cell phone to your heart's desire. So I handed the man my phone without thinking twice. I must say, my spidey senses were tingling a little bit. I don't know what it was, but I thought that keeping an eye on him would suffice. So the guy went and blabbed on my phone for a while, and I decided, let me continue with this important document. I looked down, and then... And I was deep in focus, like a snake, focused on, well, I don't know, snakey stuff. And, well, it was an important document. I only had one. I had to do it quickly because I still wasn't freaking registered at the freaking university where I was supposed to be sitting in a freaking classroom getting freaking educated. You know what I mean? Watch your profanity. <sighs> but, yes, as you might have guessed, when I looked up, he was gone. I jumped up and I politely exclaimed, Oh, dear. I cannot believe such a terrible event has happened to me. I alerted the security guard and I asked him which way the guy went. He then pointed me in a direction and I ran. I ran as fast as I could. The cement pounding against my feet, the wind rushing against my face. People staring at me, judging me. I didn't care. All I cared about was my phone. All the memories we had. The selfies I took with her. The cat videos I've watched. My bloody Candy Crush high score sh**. All gone. Suddenly, I look back and then... <gasps> Stay tuned for part two of The Man That Took It All Away, exclusive on The Bunket Vlog. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm officially back on YouTube. I'm gonna try my best to stick to a schedule now. <laughs> but yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below for any new video ideas and make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell thingy because you want to see this videos like oh so good this is quality <laughs> thanks again bye